I'm Bill Groff. This is Will Snyder. We are members of the Allied Airmen's Preservation Society. And we are a living history organization that focuses on the Allied air crews in World War II. We are here at Rose Hill Manor in Frederick this weekend for their World War II weekend. It's a beautiful sunny day here and this is something we look forward to every year. We as a group uh, of living historians, we usually do an average of 12 to 20 shows a year. Uh, this being one of our favorites, the, the location, the setting is just absolutely great. Uh, this particular year we're actually doing the 425th Night Fighter Squadron, uh, which was the first U.S. air crews to actually land on the continent of Europe after D-Day. Uh, my crew, as mechanics, were one of the few that actually worked on aircraft with sidearms because we were in occupied territory. And we participate in uh, a number of different types of shows per year. This is what we would call a smaller show, but we do the larger air shows, we're in parades, we set up at uh, retirement centers, we do school events, varied activities. We just want to get the memories uh, of the veterans and their stories out there to the public, keep the history alive. And can you talk a little bit about some of those other events too? Uh, one of our favorite events is the honor flights down at the World War II Memorial in D.C. And they, they fly in veterans from all over the country, free of charge, to see the memorial. And several times a year, they have what are called super flights, where they bring in 500 veterans or more. And we'll take our Jeep down and we'll just be there in our full gear and display. And we greet the veterans and they're just thrilled to see us because these guys who are in their 90s when they see the uniforms and they smell the canvas, they're 18 years old again. You know, and, uh, and they don't even have to be former Air Corps. No. I mean, these guys get off the buses and, and the first thing they do is they head over to our Jeep and they're like, I want my picture taken. And the first thing they say is, get me out of this wheelchair. Now, they want to stand tall and proud. Yep. And, uh, it's, just, it's just the greatest thing we do. I mean, what a feeling it is. Yeah and who knows how much longer we'll be able to do something like that. So We used to have many veterans that would come to our events and now we find we have to go to them. Now for young folks that might be watching and learning about World War II for the first time, can you give a, a quick rundown, I know it's not easy doing just a couple minutes, but a quick rundown of, of World War II and what happened and the timeline on it and how they can get more information. Oh, that's a tall order. Uh, we represent the Air Corps, which came in around 1943 into Europe. Uh, many of them were based in England and uh, flew air raids over first into occupied France and later into Germany, flying the, the bombers and, and fighter escort and all that. And then later after D-Day, which is what we're portraying today, uh, the air groups, the uh, bases were able to move into France and Europe to get closer to their targets in Germany. Uh, now, anyone interested in this can certainly attend events like this, but uh, we have a website. Uh, we're always open to new members. Uh, we want to get... give that website address? Uh, the website is allied... Well, it's you know better than I do. mad.com. There you go. And we also have a Facebook page. Yes. Allied yes. Check Airman's us out President. on Facebook. That is updated weekly. Right. So best to just get involved. Yes, it oh, is. absolutely. And, and the other thing that, you know, we're, we're talking about today, we're in France right after D-Day. Different shows, we do different things. Uh, our biggest show, Reading, Pennsylvania, we're in the Pacific every year. Uh, we do shows where we're in Italy or North Africa. Remember, it was a world war. So right. we try to portray as much as we can different aspects of the war. And, and the best way to learn is to get involved. And the, and the main thing to remember right now is we are the last people that's going to be able to talk to World War II vets alive. And that's going to soon come to an end. Right. They are our treasures. Well, thank you all for what you're doing. Oh, well, thank it's you. It's our we, honor to keep the history alive. Yeah.